Why, hello there, chaps! We are here today at Brent's room for another wacky science experiment <laughs> with me, Brent Vanderwall. As you can see above me, there's a large ceiling fan. Now, what we are going to do is we're going to use a strobe light and try to change that fan speed. Whoa! Let us begin. Turn off fan! I need light. <laughs> See, as you can see, this this is on high power, and it is creating a lot, a lot of wind. But it looks like it's not moving. See, if I stick my hand, ah, oh, that really hurts. <laughs> Ow! You'd wonder how that would hurt, but it does. All right, and as you can see, when we slow down the strobe light, it looks like the fan is moving backwards. And if we turn this fan down to low power. Whoa! It looks like it's going way faster, and now it looks like it's going backwards. Slow down the strobe. Looks like it's going forwards. We turn the fan off, and it looks like it's speeding up. That's bizarre! Now, if I stop this, it looks like it's going faster, but it didn't hurt near as much. <laughs> 